Welcome from the team at the Graduate Registrar's Office at Lewis and Clark College. We've received information from Human Resources that you will be joining us as a member of our instructional team. There are two key steps that we need you to do so we can get you access to your electronic accounts at Lewis and Clark. The first step is to set up your Lewis and Clark email and user account. And the second step is to complete the Family Educational Right to Privacy Act tutorial. This video is designed to assist you through those two steps. The first step is to set up my Lewis and Clark email account and web advisor and user name. To do that, go to the main college website at www.lclark.edu and click on the Graduate School of Education and Counseling in the top area of the web page. Then click on Faculty, and over on the right-hand side in the gray area, click on Faculty Resources. This particular page is a great one to add to your favorites or bookmark while you're with us. It gives you immediate direct access to many of the online services you will use while you're with us, including the College Catalog, and Web Advisor, which is your access to the Student Information System, the Faculty Handbook, Moodle and WebDisk, those are courseware tools that you may use, and also immediate access to your email, forms, policies, and other resources that are available for you here. Now I'm going to click under the login area under Setup Email Web Advisor Account, and it takes me into Web Advisor, and here I'm going to enter in my last name. And in the next section, I need to enter in two of the following three items. I'm going to go ahead and enter in my Lewis and Clark ID number. And I'm going to skip my Social Security number, and I'm going to enter in my date of birth. And I'm going to scroll to the bottom and hit Submit. It's out there looking for my information in the student information system, and it found me. And here what I'm going to see is uh, a confirmation of my student ID number and name, and then it's offering me a choice of several unused usernames at the college. A username you will use for access to the computer network, and the username is the first part of your Lewis and Clark email address. So, for example, I'm going to choose the username Al. So my Lewis and Clark email address will be al at lclark.edu. Now down below, I'm going to set my password. And passwords must be at least eight characters in length. Two of them need to be alphabetic characters. And one needs to be either numeric or a symbol, a non-alphabetic character. So I'm going to... Enter in a password, and I have to enter in that twice. Hit Submit. And now my Lewis and Clark accounts are created, and I have immediate access to WebAdvisor. But before going on to WebAdvisor, there is another important step you need so that you have complete access. Every employee who has access to the Student Information System must complete the Family Educational Right to Privacy Act tutorial that is available online. To get to the tutorial, I'm going back to the main college webpage at www.lclark.edu, and then I'm going to click on the Graduate School of Education and Counseling, and this time I'm going to click on Registrar. And over on the right hand side in the gray area, scrolling down, I'm going to click on FERPA. And again, FERPA stands for the Family Educational Right to Privacy Act. On the left hand side, you see a link to the FERPA policy. It's a good idea to take a few moments 
scan through the policy before you begin the tutorial. The tutorial will take you through the basic information you need to be successful in completing the tutorial, but this FERPA policy gives you the details of the policy at the college. I'm going to click back, and I'm going to click on the tutorial. Once you begin the tutorial, you are unable to go back. It will take you through questions. Uh, you'll see there's a next button at the bottom. When you successfully complete this tutorial, an email will be sent to the registrar's office at the graduate school. When we receive this email, we will update your account and within two business days, we will send you detailed information and instructions on basic orientation information and how to use and access Web Advisor. When the tutorial is completed, it will ask you for your information. Be sure and place in your Lewis and Clark email address uh, as only Lewis and Clark emails will be granted the access once the tutorial is completed. You'll also enter in your name and your supervisor at the graduate school. This tutorial takes approximately five minutes. Once that's finished, again, we will be notified and that will give us the ability to open your accounts and provide access. At that time, you will be sent a detailed orientation video. When you receive the orientation video, there will be a link in the email that is sent to you that will provide you instructions on forwarding your email to another email account. This can be a time-saving tool for you while you're with us if you wish to have your new Lewis and Clark email account forwarded to another email account. Those instructions, again, will be attached to the email. Thank you.